Now to a deal that's not quite done yet. President Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy striking a deal over the weekend to raise the debt limit, but now both leaders have to get their party members to agree and get it passed the House and Senate before the June 5th deadline. NBC's Drew Petromo is on Capitol Hill with details. After months of hand-wringing and deep fears of a catastrophic default, President Biden telling the nation he struck a deal with the Republican Speaker of the House. We've reached a bipartisan budget agreement. Now we're ready to move to the full Congress. I think once people read the bill, they'll be pretty excited. But most important, it's America wins on this one. The deal includes a two-year debt limit extension while calling for spending on most items next year to remain roughly the same. It claws back $30 billion in unspent COVID funds and increases work requirements for some people on food stamps, a top priority for Republicans. We did a conference call with our conference and over 95 percent were overwhelmingly excited about what they see. But there are no changes to Medicaid, some student debt relief, or climate change legislation, all priorities for Democrats and the president. Will I get all of what I want? No. Will they get all of what they want? No. But I'm very pleased that we're in a good place. But some of the most conservative Republicans are criticizing the deal, saying it doesn't go far enough to cut spending. Some liberal Democrats are also leery of concessions made by the president. I'm not happy with some of the things I'm hearing about. There's still hard work to be done on both sides to get the bill through Congress on a tight deadline. But on this Memorial Day, as the nation pauses to pay tribute to the country's fallen heroes, members of both parties noting the deal protects defense spending and programs for veterans. A House committee plans to start working on the bill tomorrow. A vote of the full House is expected Wednesday evening. From there, it heads to the Senate, where leaders from both parties are urging swift passage. Drew Petromo, NBC News, Washington.